Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking into time remapping in DaVinci Resolve 16. I don't really have any other introduction, so let's just get right into it. Okay, so here I am with a new project here, and as you can see, I have this clip. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it onto the timeline. I uh, don't know why it appeared down there. But basically, I have a clip of my friend shoving my brother off of the sleigh and then sledding down the hill. So, um, basically, what I want to do here is I want to go into slow motion when he pushes my brother off the sled and have a slow-mo shot and then I want to speed up right before he hits the ground again uh, I don't know why it's lagging so much now what you could do is just right click on it and just click change clip speed and what that'll do though is just change the, uh, the speed of the whole clip uh, so that doesn't really do anything and it doesn't give you any control over if you want to ease into that new speed so what we want to do is we want to actually ease into the speed so uh, it go eases into the, a slow-mo and then eases back out of it so in order to do that you want to right click on the clip and go to retime controls now this brings up the retime area and Basically, you can change the speed right here. One thing DaVinci Relax, it only gives you these options for the speed at the moment. So that's kind of annoying. Um, but basically, to continue, right here is where we want to go into slow motion. So what you do is you right click on this, or just click on it, and click add speed point. Now right here, this is where it cuts them, and now you can change the speed of this area and the speed of this area. So then, we want to go back into normal speed right before he hits the ground. So, I will click on this again and click Add Speed Point. So it adds a speed point wherever the playhead is. Okay, so right here in the middle, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to change the speed to 50%. So now if we play this, it goes into slow motion right here. He grabs the sleigh and then it goes back into fast motion as he rides down the hill. So. However, what we want to do is we want to smooth and ease into the slow motion. Right now, it just does a sudden cut. So, what we're going to do is right-click on it again and click Retime Curve. Now, the Retime Curve is basically just a graph editor of your keyframes. So, if you were to click on your keyframe, you'd see it's at a linear, key, uh, linear uh, tangent right now. And what we want to do is change it to a smooth tangent. And you can see now it gives the line a little bit of curvature, which basically adds a little bit of curvature to the speed warp. Now, if you want to spread this out a lot, you could go really deep. And you could see over time, it slowly eases into the slow motion. Or you can make it really quick and tighten this. So I'm going to tighten this. So now if we play this, it does a pretty nice ease into the slow motion. And then click on the second keyframe and add a little smoothness to that too. Maybe stretch this out. And there we go. And change that. Now in this graph editor, you can also change the uh, speed of it. So if you want to adjust it further than just the options, because like I said, the options are really limiting, you could actually uh, drag up and down the amount of speed right here. Um, and do that manually. Uh, if you hold shift, it will lock it in whatever axis, or I thought so. Okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> never mind. Now, the final thing I want to go over before we're done is if we go up, if we click on our video and go over to the inspector here. So, I have my inspector open. Uh, if you go down to retime and scaling, if you click on this, you can change the retime process. Now, um, normally, what if you watch it, it's pretty choppy. It's it's pretty laggy right there. There's not enough frames for the slow motion. So that's the default. It's just going to uh, lower the frame rate, basically. However, you could also go to the nearest. Now, the nearest is the default, so it's just a low frame rate. You could do flame, frame blend, which basically that blurs the flame, flame, frames, frames, and it looks pretty weird, honestly, if you look at it, it's like a weird blurring effect. It might work for some things. The last thing is, though, optical flow. What that does, it actually tries to make artificial frames in between frames that are missing. So the computer tries to generate its own frames to fill in for that lowered frame rate, and it doesn't always work. Um, but for this one, it comes out pretty nice. You can see the frame rate is a lot better. However, there's a few glitches, like the sand looks a little weird, there's some warping, um, and that's because it's all computer generated. It's The computer's trying to fill in the area between it. And you do get this little bit of a wavy effect. So anyways, I hope that tutorial helped. 
uh, it, this is our final product right here. So um, it's lagging just a little bit, but uh, it has a nice flow. And so I hope this helped a lot. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channels because if you don't, you are crushing my dreams. And then other than that, uh, hit the bell. The bell is very important because the bell will alert you if I make any new tutorials. So that's important. So other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped a lot and go make something great.